So in this quick tutorial, I just wanted to show you how you can run two different versions of Final Cut Pro 10 at the same time. So Apple's just released a new update of Final Cut Pro 10, 10.3, and I still have projects that I'm working on with clients that I need to do in an older version of Final Cut Pro 10, um, as well as doing some teaching online um, in the older versions of Final Cut Pro 10. So I need to run two versions at the same time, um, especially seeing as the new version looks so different. So I'm running Final Cut Pro 10.2.2 here, and all I've done is in my applications folder before, I installed the new Final Cut Pro. I made a copy of my current version of the application folder, dragged it onto an external hard drive, installed the new version, and then renamed the older version. So this is 10.2.2 and pulled it back into my applications folder. So now I have two versions. So 10.3 is this version and 10.2.2, and they should run fine next to one another. And it also means that if you don't like 10.3, you can trash it and go back to working with the older version as well. So, so there's a couple of things you want to make sure that you do do here when you're working between versions of Final Cut Pro. And the main consideration is that you can't take projects created or edited in the newer version of Final Cut Pro back to an older version. So if we go here and go to File, Open and Library, um, this File, Open Library, this slide out text tutorial that I created um, and now have opened in 10.3 won't open in 10.2.2. So that's a real important thing to bear in mind when you're moving projects uh, between the versions. You have to be super careful with that. Obviously, I've got a backup, so I could go back and recover that older version from my time machine backup, but um, it's obviously gonna take some time to, to do that. So I'm gonna quit out of this version of Final Cut Pro. You can't run two versions of Final Cut Pro at the same time. The only way you could do that is by running a virtual machine on the Mac, but I don't know if that's a really a good idea when working with Final Cut Pro. So I'm gonna quit out of this. And now we're gonna open up the new version of Final Cut Pro. So if we double click here, we can see that a previous version of a project that I've created um, just to test that I could still create projects in 10.2.2 isn't opening um, straight away. It's giving me this warning that I need to update my project and that if I update it, I won't be able to take it back. So just bear that in mind and make sure that you duplicate any libraries that you wanna work in in the newer version that you think you might wanna go back to and work in in the old version, okay? So if you have a lot of projects that Final Cut has been working on and you don't wanna update them um, so all in one go, then what you'll find yourself doing when you first open up Final Cut Pro 10.3 is clicking cancel a lot and each library that um, you have not updated it will get you to cancel and cancel and cancel. I've already done that a couple of times, so that's why I only had a couple of cancels to do. So now I can open up um, any projects that I want here. So the slide out text, which we looked at before, I can choose that project, that library, and it will open up fine now in Final Cut Pro 10.3 because I've already updated it. So there are a lot of similarities in the layout between Final Cut Pro 10.2.2 and 10.3. The libraries and the clips we've imported are still up here on the top left. We still have the inspector um, up on the top right hand side here um, and they've changed some detail of those layouts. But at first glance, things look relatively similar and a lot of the great functionality that you've got in 10.2.2 is still there in 10.3. We haven't obviously lost anything and uh, that's one of my main concerns is that as soon as I jump into 10.3, I'm going to have deadlines to hit. So I need to be able to edit. And it looks like at first glance, that's not going to be an issue at all um, for the projects that I'm working on, which are normally short form tutorials or some corporate edits and that type of thing. OK, I haven't dug into plugins um, and whether those will still work in Final Cut Pro 10.3. And that's definitely something you'd want to consider when you're moving a project from one version to another and perhaps create a duplicate of projects as you're doing that so that you can jump back um, if things don't work. So back up, make a duplicate of the project and then bring it into 10.3 if you want to see if it's going to fly in that new version. And overall, I'm liking the look of the interface. It seems a bit more slimmed down than 10.2.2. We don't have the kind of 3D buttons. I like that nice flat look, which as is said in the marketing is to highlight the content rather than the interface. And I, and I like that kind of slimming down of the interface. So I would recommend at the moment that if you have a lot of projects that are live with close deadlines is really to maybe hold off for a, a few days a week if you don't have a, a project that you need to do in 10.3 just to see any bugs that other people who are testing it and playing with it um, if they uncover those. So I imagine there will be uh, a few things that uncovered there normally are with these big releases. And if you hold off a few days, 
other people can do the dirty work for you and then you can find out um, if the upgrade is for you. You do need to upgrade the operating system if you're working on an older version of Mac OS 10. So that's another consideration. Do you have any other software that requires an older operating system of Mac OS 10? And if you've got any critical deadline specific projects that you're working on outside of Final Cut Pro 10, then that's something to really look at and make sure that other software you're using is going to work when you update the operating system so that you can jump to the latest version of Final Cut Pro 10. So I'm going to be coming out with some new tutorials for Final Cut Pro 10.3. I'm still going to be answering questions in 10.2.2 as well as things pop up. And if you have any questions, then please don't hesitate to send me a tweet at Ben Housel or to get in touch with me uh, via email. My email is design at benhousel.com and uh, have fun uh, with the new software. It's looking good so far. A lot of people are really excited about this and the release of the new MacBook Pros. And uh, we'll wait and see how those new navigation bars on the keyboard of the, the MacBook Pros hold up. Um, I'm particularly worried about the, the lack of escape key on uh, some of the smaller keyboards and also the need to, to buy a dongle for the new MacBook Pro to plug in my regular USB 3 devices, but I'm not gonna be upgrading to the new MacBook Pro yet. So I'm gonna be running Final Cut Pro 10.3 on my, my current system. And so we'll see how that goes. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.